In the previous episode, I laminated two sheets together to form the transom. Okay, so this is the transom and it's been glued up now for a little over 48 hours. So the glue is set, I'm sure. It's just a matter now of unclamping. Well, here we have the Wave Rover 650 looking very fine. I've roughly trimmed the bottom and now we're going to size up the sides, these last, this last little chine bit. So it's going to take a few steps, but we're getting a feeling for the curvature of the bottom for sure. And I'm very, very pleased. Okay. So Brian, you're going to line it up with the end, just like I'm going to Feels tight. Well, let's drop it down just a little bit. Yeah. Um, let me just take a measurement there. I think last time we had four and a quarter. Yeah, we're the same. Okay, that's good. We'll take it right there, bud. So all I have is just a little piece of plywood here. It's uh, four and a quarter inches long, which is what I just measured there. And I'll just hold the pencil on the bottom as I line it up with the top. screws and lay it down. Oh, 
so much lighter. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this one's going to be fine. There's a big change. When the panel was dry fitted, I scribed a pencil line along the upper chine from the inside. And now I'm using the jigsaw to cut that line. After dry fitting the sides, use a plane to bevel the bottom to the same angle as those sides. Now I'm transferring a line to the bottom of the boat using the side as my guide. And after I remove that side, I will bevel the bottom using the established bevel already on the bottom to that line for a nice snug fit. There we go, side one is fitted. Not a bad job, the curve is very nice. Well, that took pretty much a full day to get this side and a partial start on the other side. Let's just look at that curve again. We go from a chine, a hard chine right here, and then as we get to the bow, let me just pull back a bit, you can see that it just flattens right out so it'll look just like a single piece of wood when it's all filled and glassed. Very happy with that. Well, ahoy rovers, I have a surprise to show you. Pulled an all-nighter last night, and you're going to see what the Wave Rover looks like right now. I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I'm about to show you. Just walking in here, and there we have it. It's only been dry fitted. It hasn't been trimmed to size or anything, but you're getting a good idea what she looks like now with all the plating on, with the exception, of course, of the transom, which I have yet to do. So, try to get an, a nice view here from the aft side. Anyway, nice curves. Uh, they'll get pulled in and pushed out in a couple of spots as we glue it up. But pretty nice overall. I'm pretty happy with the effect.
and she's going to form a really nice shape at the bow. You have to use a little bit of imagination still at this point. You know, you have to imagine all the wood trimmed back and the edges radiused. But, um, you know, in my mind's eye, I can see all that already and pretty happy, pretty happy with how it looks. But there's still quite a few steps to go before I can roll it over. Well, Rovers, I'd like to take a minute to welcome two new names to our Benefactors Bulkhead. We have Ken Inoue and QuickModel.com. Now, these folks have made a contribution of $100 US or more, and their names will be going on the Benefactors Bulkhead inside Wave Rover and will be coming with me on our circumnavigation. I'd also like to welcome Rob Head, our new patron. Thanks very much. All these contributions do make a huge difference to the entire project. Well, that's it. The dry fit is complete. We're looking at some pretty nice curves. We're getting a better idea of what it's going to look like. Um, the next day, I will be gluing this chine in place and it'll take a bit of a fillet because we're going to be rounding that over, making a nice little radius. But I think we're getting a pretty good idea of the shape. It's not bad.